Right, right. Direct the whole project for us. Go ahead. This is a uh, 2001 Volkswagen Beetle. What else to say? What we got there, uh, the big aluminum canister. That's the tank that's going to mount in the rear of the car. We've got some tubing that's going to route the grease up toward the front. We're going to route through two valves. One valve to uh, direct grease into the engine, the other valve to direct uh, the regular fuel, the diesel. And it routes in and out, two ports on the top of the can, as you see there. What you got around the filter, though, is, uh, is a, a, a copper tubing. Coolant from the engine to route around that tube, through that tube. You need to bring the grease up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for the correct viscosity, otherwise it won't burn right. So that's pretty much the components. Besides that, there are some electrical connectors that we'll get into later. That's it. Over and out. Bye. Oh, yes. that's so what we got going on here is uh, removal of the air intake. There's a couple folks are taking off the air intake. There's a couple of screws at the back and front. And the reason we're doing this, eventually we got to get to the back near the firewall where the, uh, where the uh, cooling tubing crosses. So we're going to get this out of the way. We'll show you here that's in a minute. Backing vacuum hose as we took off that air intake. I hope it's working. Shoot, I don't think I had it working. This takes two sheet metal screws, really, to anchor these pieces that we're mounting into. Right up toward the solenoids. We've got to have enough room to reach the solenoids. Right about there. That should be good. So we've got to remove our, our wheel. A little kit there. Emergency kit. And of course our tires got to come out of there because we got to make room for our tank. Other uncle, and uh, he's going to show us some issues with the bump there at the base. There's a bump in that can, that uh, aluminum can doesn't lay flat. So what we're going to do is lay some rug in here. A couple pieces of rug, put a hole in the center, just to build up that center. Another piece of rug, another piece there. And then one final piece there. Just lay on there. Then we have a nice surface for that aluminum can to lay on. That's it for now. Okay, what we're doing here is we're drilling two holes. Okay, he got through with the other one. That's fine. And uh, we put the holes at the back rather than the front of the arc here because if you look underneath the car at the front of the arc, you got your actual plastic gas. Went for the second line. It's, you got to work the grommet a little bit, it's a little bit tight, but if you work it in, you'll get it right into it. He's going under the car now to give you a underside look of the vehicle and the two holes. My fingers are now through the, the front to the back. He beveled the end of that thing too to slip it through there. Okay, and now he's going to push it into the uh, rubber tubing. Hot water and keep that tube warm. Keep, keep that grease up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Bite. Okay, what we got now, again, we're feeding this second hose up underneath. Just grab onto it, okay. And I'm going to continue to feed alongside the bracket. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry it all the way to the front of the car before I tuck it in. One, they're self-tapping screws. I'm tightening it up now with the screwdriver, and it's tightening up. And we've got a second one just in front of the hose and I'm going to fish the line into the gas tank, our PEX tubing, like so. Okay, it's catching a little bit for me. I don't know on what, but it's catching. I'm going to bevel it in the tank. I am now sliding the... I'm going to take the second one, shove it on. Grease, maybe, huh? May need some grease, but it feels like they're gonna go. It's just again a little bit awkward by yourself. The line that's the uh, return line that goes back to the water pump, and of course, we're getting a lot of fluid. And again, if you're trying to identify that line, that's the one that's uh at the top of your water pump, okay? 
That's the one that's at the top. The one you see right there at the top. And now he's going to put a T-fitting in place. He's going to get his clamps first in place. So now he's going to push this uh, return line back onto that T. And what you got there, we're going to tighten those in a minute, but basically you cut into that black tubing. That's your return. And also this red is also the return coming back from the fuel tank. We'll tighten those up and get back with you on the next part. Again, what you see now, we cut, we cut those, uh, that, that was the, uh, that's the supply on the heater at the back of the firewall, and he's going to put his T in there. We have three clamps to make that tie in there. And we're going to route that now to our heater at the filter. We'll show you that in a minute here. Now we're going to shove it into the, into the supply. supply line, like so. We've got a clamp on it, and there you go. Like he said, we're going to try to position our heater onto this flared nut. And now we're going to have to slide, we're going to have to get a wrench, slide this down. And we got a few bolts onto this. It's kind of a flimsy plastic, but that's what we're going to anchor our uh, heater cord to. Okay, what we had to do here, folks. We had to just use some zip ties, and we used zip ties to give us flexibility because we couldn't get it all connected. Okay, we're making the final tightening here. Yeah, and don't forget to tighten the nut around the peak, that uh, Tex tubing, Tex tubing. Otherwise, you're going to mix your coolant. Okay, we're making the final tightening here. Yeah, and don't forget to tighten the nut around the peak, that uh, Tex tubing, Tex tubing. Otherwise, you're going to mix your coolant. And he's going to cut this tubing to length again with a with a band to hold that tubing on there. And again, this is the supply, and this heats. This, I mean, draws heat from the engine. Where's our filter? Here's our filter. And this filter, that's what we're trying to do, folks. We're going to we're going to be uh, filtering or heating up our fuel. Grease. Heat up the grease, basically. With the supply, heat up the grease, and it'll return through that red hose back to the uh, gas tank where there's another little loop, copper loop, to heat up the fuel in the gas tank, and it comes back to this return hose here. I removed the radiator oh. elbow, and now I have access to the fuel filter. You have two lines, one line feeding the pump and the other line returning. These old lines that supplied fuel, diesel fuel to the pump and returned are going to be co totally removed from the system. For this circuit here, you have a supply of diesel fuel going to the common port of valve A coming out of the, or to the uh, normally open port of valve A. And then routing through the common port of valve A back to the input on the injector pump. You've got the return from the filter going to the normally open port and solenoid B. The common port returns right back to the injector pump. That's it for now. Is that piece of PEX, that orange tubing, that comes from our fuel tank at the back of the car. And he cut a previously cut a short piece of tubing. That piece of tubing routes around to this T-fitting and goes to the normally closed side of the uh, solenoid B and that's going to allow us to uh, choose vegetable oil. Grease is going to go <coughs> off that T through a filter which is sur surrounded by a piece of copper tubing that heats the uh, whole fil filter container to bring the grease up to 140 degrees then it comes out of that filter there's an arrow at output He's got a piece of tubing cut. He's going to push that onto the output of that filter. And that tube routes over to solenoid A, the normally closed port. Of course, when we flip our switch, we'll open that port, and that will route over to the injector pump. So that will allow us to select the uh, grease to be driven into the pump and into the engine. It's all documented. There's a whole documentation 
If you need to contact us, we can fax you this sheet, but it's out there.